YouTube. We got an amazing unboxing today from none other than Canova. So if you really like unboxing videos, I would hit that like and subscribe button because we have a lot of unboxing videos coming up in the next several months with some awesome fire animals. So I'm super excited to show you what I got today. Um, a little bit of a surprise. We're gonna have a lot of cool stuff coming up. Uh, there's a reptile expo, a pretty local one in St. Louis that I'll be going to this weekend. Uh, my significant other and I are also going to Tinley in October, so we'll get some footage there. We're also going to be visiting the Canova facility in November, and my significant other and I got randomly selected to go to a Vikings and Atlanta Hawks NFL game Bruh. with the Canova team in their suite. Uh, the day after the open house. So a lot of exciting stuff coming up. Uh, I also got my own business t-shirt, no fire exotics. So um, go ahead and look us up on YouTube. I'm also on Instagram, TikTok, and I have a Morph Market page that I just started as well. So a lot of exciting things. Business cards are on the way. So yeah, so excited to get this box open. I am so excited to show you the animals we got in here. The first, well, I don't know if I can see what the is him, but uh, I am a Patreon of Canova, and so they've been doing some snake giveaways lately. And one of the snakes in here, uh, a little male that I got from the giveaway. So excited, we got the good old uh, receipt. And then awesome, just some other cool uh, merch here with some stickers, clutch card for everything, uh, tracking your animals. Um, that'll probably look into. Uh, there's Phoenix, my cat. So it's very annoying. Always wants to get into everything. Right, so they're in bags, so we'll just grab one and see which one it is. So we got two females and a male. I won't stop. I might have to just put them up when I do these videos. Okay, so here's the male. Hi, buddy. Hope you can see him. Uh, you guys probably noticed from the last video we did some edits. So I hope you liked that. I'm kind of working on the lighting. I know it was like a little bit dark. Um, I was trying to pick up the contrast of the animals and I got washed out. So hopefully you can see this a little bit better. But So this is a black pastel triple het. So he's triple or his het for hypo, clown, ultra male possible het desert ghost so i'm gonna probably shed test him for desert ghost um and see if he is that usually you know when you buy males they're usually visual but again like i said i won him so i think he's still gonna be pretty valuable um when it comes to making some double and triple recessives um i am getting a hypo double het clown ultra male female um to see if we can try to get into making some hypo ultra male clowns if he does prove to be Desert Ghost, I may get him like a visual Desert Ghost double uh, het clown, ultra male female probably or something like that. So we'll just see. Um, but he was born uh, earlier this year. He is super, super active. So he was really wanting out of there. Um, but yeah, so born a little bit earlier this year and this was the guy won in the giveaway. So very appreciative for Justin and his team, summer's been great. Whenever I've been emailing her, figuring out what snakes to use for my project. Um, so yeah, very grateful for being able to get him. So I'm gonna put him up. And then we'll look at the other two. These other two are girls. Girly. So 
So this one is very, very jean packed. So yo, this right here. She is but she is a pastel and she leopard highway, which means she has a gravel and yellow belly pie head clown. So that's a mouthful, I'm not sure what it is. But a uh, very jean packed girl, um, born earlier this year, so she's pretty young. I'll be pairing her when she gets up to size to Emoji, our, uh, he's our orange dream clown pie male. So hopefully get some clown pies with some really cool uh, codoms in there. Um, so again, she's pastel and she leopard highway pie head clown girl. Uh, so yeah, super, super excited. She's a little bit balled up now. Looks like it's kind of come out of focus because it's kind of on my face. I am looking at getting a uh, vlogging camera, which I think will be a lot easier. Whoa! Don't mind that. <laughs> Kind of slipped out of my hand, but she's all right. Uh, yeah, there's her head. So, uh, vlogging camera to hopefully make this easier. I'm just doing it on my phone by myself right now, but she's kind of coming into focus there, but super, super pretty girl. Um, she's gonna be awesome. I love Pied so much, and I really like the highways and the freeways, so she'll be a good uh, start to that. And hopefully get her on um, some food and then see how she does. Okay. And then we got the last one here. They'll be so excited for my dream sickle project. Um, you guys saw the triple recessive girl. I'll probably show her in an upcoming video on how she's doing. She's doing great. She's eating well. She's growing. So this girl will be added to that group. There's a couple avenues I think I'm gonna take that project. I'm gonna add maybe another recessive in there and then some cool coat on so you guys will have to uh, keep watching this channel to kind of see which routes I go. Oh, this girl a little bit. This girl's a pretty good size actually. Hey girly. Super pretty girl. She is, there we go. So she's an Enchi Yellow Belly Dream Sickle. So she's got a lot of pretty oranges and pinks. So yeah, and she yellow belly dreamsicle, which is a lavender um, pie. So and she really takes a lot of like the white away, makes a more pattern. So this is why um, you can see uh, how she doesn't really have a lot of white on her, like your white traditional saddles, like you get uh, with the pieds, but she is a dream sickle and she yellow belly. So again, not sure exactly what I'm gonna take her. I do have some males coming up for her and the triple recessive. Um, so we'll see how, what I think, which direction I'll take her in um, as she grows up, but a little bit more size than the last girl you guys saw, but super pretty. Let's see if she'll unball a little bit so I can show her face. Oh, there you go. So you guys can see here, focused a little bit. Yeah, it keeps coming out of focus, but that's probably it. But you guys can still pick up the oranges and yellows. Actually, these animals. I should really put them up when I do videos. But anyway, so the plan for these guys is just to kind of put them away in their enclosure for a week. Uh, just kind of let them settle in and then I'll offer food probably next week, a week from today. I usually do live the first couple times with some uh, large mice. I think these guys can handle um, for a few feedings to make sure they're on food and that they're happy and everything. Um, and then I will switch over to frozen thaw. That's what I prefer. Uh, so I am getting some AFSF, ASFs. Have you guys heard of that? But they're like an African soft fur rat. They're supposed to be better for ball pythons. So I'm gonna put some of my animals on there. Ones who I found are a little more picky um, to help get them up to size. Um, but yeah, like I said, I mainly prefer uh, frozen thawed. So.
so yeah so get these girl cleaned up put her in her home and yeah don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button we have a lot of cool things this is a really big unboxing but like i said we have a lot coming forward with going to tinley and uh, meeting Justin and everybody at Canova in the next couple months as well. So uh, really fun things for the channel. So let me guys know what you like, what you don't like. We'll see how the editing goes. Hopefully some of the animals were in focus this time, but I'll be getting a vlogging camera to make that better. So I also, it's not the only thing I got today. I have another unboxing, but it's gonna be in the next video, so. Hit that like and subscribe button and see you guys later.